Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333 and we're at the top section again, which is really sunny, which leads to my suspicion that this is actually supposed to be in Orlando, because sunny, and then we go down all of these steps. And it's nighttime. And in case you think, oh, well, no, you just can't see the sun because it's over that mountain. All right. Look over there. Look how bright it is. Not very. Then we go back up here. And... The staircase is remarkably long and it's making my point a little bit harder to prove. But go up here and bam! Super well lit. There are areas in shadow. That bridge is not supposed to be one of them. So, that leads to my theory that this is supposed to be Anor Londo, because in Anor Londo you had a illusion... Okay, for those of you who haven't played Dark Souls 1, spoiler alert, there's this... Was Princess Guinevere? Yeah. Princess Guinevere, a very... She's a very large woman. Not, like, fat, just she's a giant. She's one of those gods, so she's, like, 15 feet tall. And the... And the thing is, is that she's not actually there. She's an illusion that one of the other gods has put up in order to make Anor Londo sunny. And if she's not there, Anor Londo is not sunny. It's, in fact, in a perpetual night. If you kill her by basically attacking her with anything, or I think there's another way of doing it involving something with Gwendolyn. I can't remember if killing Gwendolyn or attacking Gwendolyn also causes the nighttime transition. I've never actually done that. I always start with Guinevere. Anyway, the... Either way, you get Nighttime Anor Londo, which is the reality. And I think this is the same thing here, where there's this illusion of the top layers, and everywhere else sees the reality that it's actually very dark. Also, elevator. Elevators are always welcome. Especially when they have secret passages off to the side. But especially, especially, when they lead back to a bonfire. Yeah! But I have no souls, so who cares? Because apparently that dragon didn't count as dying. Oh, wait, that's where you are. So I noticed that there's actually a hole up top, right here. Which I'm guessing you get by going through here, which I can't remember where the orientation was now. Shoot. Nope. I'll find you eventually. There it is. Okay. This seems weird. Or so fog well ahead, hidden path ahead. Thanks. Ember. Philanor spear ornament. Ooh. Okay, we're not dealing with a great hollow situation here. Philanor spear ornament. What is this? Really wish it would tell me the type of item when I pick it up. Unless it does. Okay. The spears of the church watch over the princess's slumber, and this serves as proof of their fulfillment of their duty. The embellished gold cloth is woven with a crest of young grass. The princess's knights proudly displayed these precious favors, which were most often seen swearing from their identical ceremonial spears. Okay, I was figuring there'd be a new covenant, because the way the covenants are done in this game... Actually, there hasn't been a ninth covenant anyway that I found, but... In the original, there was nine covenants. I think in two, there was also nine covenants. And the way they're done, it's easy to extrapolate out that there could be more covenants, because they're just items. There's nothing really special about them. Antiquated plain garb and violet wrappings. Okay, what is this? Ordinary garb from an ancient land of sorcery. The gold embellishments betray a faint residue of magic, but this clothing was never intended for battle. When a mission visited the Ring City long ago, one of its younger missionaries elected to stay behind. It was he who became the last recorded spear of the church. What does it look like, by the way? Oh my! Okay, that's not protective enough. Like, wow. That's a pattern I've noticed here. It's like... It's not what I want for this character. I don't... I'm not saying it's bad. But I already have a design. I already have what I want for this character. Like, what I know what I want them to look like as best as I can. This is basically it. 
Violet wrappings. These arm wrappings, sewn with violet cloth and embroidered with gold thread, were intended for everyday use. Yet they served well enough in many a battle, in wreathing the arms of one who would go on to embrace the sword. So I'm guessing it's just, like... Yeah. Yeah, punch him out. Ah, what do I want to do? What was I using? Night gauntlets. Okay, good. That's not going to help me any. Oh, she- Oh, what? I figured as much. It couldn't be dead. But I was hoping it'd at least be out of my way. Well, hey, there's the dragon. I hope Filinor's happy. Of course, that stupid laser. I wonder what damage type that laser is. Alright, I'm not going to worry about that boss just yet. Because there are a bunch of other things to look at. It's good to know it's there. I'm glad to know it's there. I don't really care, though, right now. It'll be something I'll deal with probably either at the end of this episode or sometime next episode. I don't intend to make the episode around that. I expect it'll take me probably a couple dozen tries. And that one laser. Everything else seems fine. That one laser. It's that one laser. It's always a pain in the butt. Although I suppose... I don't think the Drake Blood Greatsword's worth it. Anyway, I noticed that there was also a thing here. Oh, one of you. Ow. I guess it doesn't count as dodging when I do that, huh? You die it. Oh, come on. Fall over and then die. What have you got on you? Twinkling, okay, whatever. What else is here? Hey, it is a great hollow type thing. Actually, it wasn't just great Oh my goodness! Three in a row! New record! Actually, Great Hollow was more just because it was a treasure chest and then an illusory wall. There are actually a few places in Dark Souls 1 where there are two illusory walls in a row. There's an area in Sense Fortress, actually. You have to get through two illusory walls up, up ladders, but at that point it's obvious because you get up to the top of a ladder and you have nowhere to go. It actually gets you to the giant at the top of the tower. Anyway, so we know where a boss is. That's kind of neat. That's not where I was going, though. I was actually going for was that I thought this... Because that was the section I dropped into there. Because I was trying to get to the drop. Which I don't think is this way either. What is this? Oh, it is. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Took a wrong turn. What have you got here? Claranthi ring plus three. Nice. Nice. Should I use the Claranthi ring again? Which I might actually do. It was quite handy before. Should I use the Claranthi ring again? Then I will use that one. Okay, what's over here? Besides a hammer guy. Or, no, 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 no. That's not hammers. That's two giant great swords. Well, this is not a time for the ring of the evil eye. This is the time for the Claranthi ring. Plus three. Curious how much it actually increases the stamina recovery speed. Ow. Wow, okay. Oh man, that was close. Okay, stun, stun, please stay stunned. Ay. Okay. Dodge, dodge, dead. Whew. 
Whew. Tiny Chunk and Ring Knight Paired Greatswords. Well, that explains what that was. Ring Knight Paired Greatswords. Holy crap. Paired Black Greatswords wielded by the Ringed Knights. The arms of early men were forged in the abyss and betray a smidgen of life. For this reason, the gods cast a seal of fire on his weapons, etc, etc, etc. Okay, there's nothing super useful, except that Ember is slightly different because it causes the slice that goes up, which we saw. What strength do you need for this, anyway? 40! Oh, I could actually wield it if I two-handed it. I think. No, I would need to have something more. Okay, hang on. Do I have a ring that would allow me to at least test this? Yes! Or maybe not. That two-handing did that did the trick. And that was the slice we saw before. Okay. That's kind of neat. But not really my style. So let's continue. Let's see. Ritual Spear Fragment. Okay, what's this? Is, th is this a key item? Or is this a thing I can use? Or is or what? Hmm. I'm guessing a key item, and I'm indeed correct. Ritual Spear Fragment. Online play item. A fragment of the matching Ritual Spear is once held by the Knights of Princess Filionor. They are the namesake of the Spears of the Church. When Spears of the Church face unduly treacherous foes, this allows them to draw upon former majesty and summon a row of upward-thrusting Ritual Spears. Okay, so Spears of the Church. That is the name of the New Covenant. Sounds like it's basically Princess Guard, except aggressive, rather than being all healy. This looks like another boss door. So I have basically my choice of bosses here. I have Super Secret Dragon Boss, or I have whatever's behind this door. Assuming it's a boss. And of course I go, like, watch me go by there, and it's basically Guinevere again. Like, the one thing I suspect this actually might be, because of tough enemy ahead. What are you talking about? Anyway, one thing I suspect this might be, because of the lore of Dark Souls 1, is that there's... Oh, what? I'll do that in a sec. Is that the... Oh, wait a sec. No, no, no. This is where I get the Covenant. Except I don't have any allegiance to this Covenant, whatever it is. But hey, whatever the Covenant is, I found its place. Neat. Anyhow, as I was saying, with the... Well, it was the Covenant system, the... Oh, yeah, Guinevere, sorry. The lore of Dark Souls 1 talks about the gods leaving at Orlando. And I'm guessing that the area that we're seeing right now might actually be where they left too. Except for some reason they're calling it Filianor, and I don't recall that being a name that came up in Dark Souls 3 very much, but... Whatever, let's do the pushing of the doors. Well, I have no other options other than killing a dragon. Okay, you know what? I think I am going to go kill the dragon because I'm thinking if I kill the dragon and I go talk to that one woman, that might actually be the way I need to go. Because if I kill the dragon, talk to the woman, I'm guessing she'll give me stuff, and I'm guessing if I talk to the... if I open that door before doing so, that woman's not going to like me very much. So we're probably going to have a bit of death montagery. Oh, behind me, shoot.
Oh, I wonder if I got his tail. It's a thing that dragons have. Well, usually, and they used to. Ow. Do I have the Clarinthi ring plus three on? Ow. And I can't check now, but I thought I did. Okay, what? Yeah, I'm betting there's a tail weapon. I mean, dragons typically have had tail weapons in the game. Although, I don't know if that was a thing in Dark Souls 3, come to think of it. Oh, right, I was playing around with Knight's Ring. Crap, that was a mistake.
Wait, what? <gasps> I did it! I did it! Probably took me like a dozen tries. I'm not actually sure how many tries it took me. I, it, these tries are like 10 minutes each, so it probably did only take me like 15 tries. Also, I... I look ugly. That's better. Oh man, I had to specialize for that fight. Holy crap. So for those, for reference, if you have like 900 HP, oh, well, I have 1160 now, but if you have 900 HP or so, you'll need on the order of 30 dark res, like 34 absorption on, on 35 defense. Like this dark stat on 900 HP, I was alive with like 40 HP after that big explosion that happens. So just for reference, if you are also playing a low vitality build or low vigor build rather, you're gonna want to go for how many souls do I get? Hundred fifty. What well, nice? Hundred fifty thousand. If you're gonna go for a low vigor build, then you'll want to have quite a bit of dark absorption and dark defense available, like thirty-ish percent minimum, just to not die to that explosion. Granted, in that particular instance, I managed to dodge all of them, but still, it was a thing. Anyway. Also, I don't think there's a tail weapon, because I kept hitting the tail over and over and over again, and it didn't chop off. Because it was really the easiest part to hit. Like, of all the things that I could hit on the boss, the tail, when all the breath attacks happened, that was the easiest thing to hit. So anyway, there was a thing I got. Oh, wait, no, 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 hang on, hang on, it's right here. Nope, that's the gray shield. Was it a key item? Okay, let's see. Consumable item, maybe? I don't see anything. No, I didn't get a Ritual Spear Fragment. I don't know what I got. Key item? Nope, these look all the same. I don't see anything. Lightning Arrow isn't new, I don't think. No new weapons. I've got to store a bunch of stuff so it's, I don't keep doing this every time I pick up something. Also, because I don't need most of these things anyway. Hmm. Also, yeah, I switched to Claymore because I needed the weight capacity. I don't see anything that it's clearly a thing. No, 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 no. Ah! Wait, 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 yes, yes! Spears of the Church! I have the Covenant! So that's how you join the Covenant, you have to kill that dragon. A green rusted ornament of young grass, the crest of Princess Filianor, equipped to join the Spears of the Church Covenant. The Spears of the Church watch over the princess's slumber, and when the church is compromised by a trespasser, the Judicator summons them as loyal spirits to eliminate the threat. And we're summoned automatically. Loyal spirits summoned as the Spears of the Church are granted a blessing and protection. Okay, so basically, it's another Forest Hunter's Covenant, most likely. From what I can tell. And the other thing is very likely the soul of... There it is. No, there it is. Soul of Dark Eater Meteor. Oh, I wasn't reading these souls, by the way, so start with Meteor. Soul of Dark Eater Meteor, one of the twisted souls, steeped in strength. Used to harmony souls, etc. Meteor, descendant of arch dragons, was raised by the gods, and owing to his immortality, was given a duty to eternally battle the dark, a duty that he would never forget, even after the gods perished. And the Demon Prince, soul of the Demon Prince, one of the twisted souls, steeped in strength. Used to acquire many souls, or transpose, to extract its true strength. The demons, birthed from a common chaos, share almost everything between them, even the pride of their prince and his near-faded flame, so that the last demon standing may rekindle it. Also, I forgot to read the small envoy banner. The small banner used by envoys of Great Lord Gwyn in the days of yore. Face the ring cliff and hold the banner high to some of the facilitators of transport. For the pygmies who took the dark soul, the Great Lord gifted the ring city, an isolated place that ruled its end, and his beloved youngest daughter, promising her that he would come for her when the day came. Okay, that explains it. It's not Anne Orlando. It's just a city. It's a nice city, but it's not Anne Orlando. Anne Orlando is the city of the gods. This is the city of, essentially, the Hollows. Well, save the humans, I guess. Now, what does the dragon give me? And of course, after this, I want to go back and talk to the... I guess the princess. Because that was the entire reason I fought the dragon first, is that I could talk to the princess, having fought the dragon, go, Hey! Is there anything that happens if I do that? Okay. So, one of them is Old Moonlight. It's Evil Moonlight Sword and Attack. The memory, a memory of an old sword found deep within Meteor. This sorcerer uses souls to grant form to the thought and attack with it. Attacks are coupled with light waves, and sustaining the stance before attacking increases their sp speed and potency. 
The sword is named after Moonlight, but it is slightly different from the one fashioned of the Pale Drake Seath. Perhaps it is rooted in an older memory from not long after the beginning. So, Moonlight Greatsword. Eh. Eh. Anyway. What was the other... Th ah, here we are. Frayed Blade, a dragon weapon symbolizing Dark Eater Meteor. The once exquisite blade is now stained black and frayed of the hilt. Without its sheath, it will soon crumble into nothing. Skill is hold. Assume a holding stance in which a normal attack sends a shockwave along the earth, and a strong attack commences a series of slashes. And it is a katana. Okay, so that's neat. Anyway, I'm gonna go spend my souls on stuff that aren't levels. Hey, I can beat these guys. Well, before I go talk to the t person up top, we got armor. Herald Legion armor. Armor worn by the Herald Legion, who sought the Dark Soul. The armor sank into the dark with the Legion, where their cavities bloated in grotesque displays, never again f to fit any ordinarily shaped body. Ugh. Alright, cool. So at least they're not going to be a problem, although these enemies will, briefly. Oh, come on! Okay, let's try this again, ideally without dying this time. What? Oh, damn it, how many of these things are there? Look, Moonwalker.
I hate these enemies! Say, I hate these enemies positioning. It's to be more precise. It's important to be precise in this case. Ah, it's kind of nice that I found an exploit to deal with these guys. I'm kind of surprised that happens, actually. I mean, it's very specific to certain positions, but. I'll take it. it. Means I don't have to worry about them again. Have to be a certain distance away, though, from the looks of it, and a certain angle. Okay, I think that's all of the Herald Knights or whatever they're called. I also got their leggings, but I can't imagine that has much different Herald Legion. Okay, I think that's the last of the Herald Legion. I think. And by think, I mean really desperately hope. Oh, you. I don't need you either. Oh, still more of you? Are you just infinitely responding while I'm still alive or something? Oh, what am I doing? One shot to any part of them is going to kill them. Okay, please tell me that's the last of them. I need to talk to this woman. And it's really annoying to have to deal with your bullshit. By bullshit, I mean your existence. Are we done here? It looks like we are. Okay. Finally. You have anything to tell me now? My most humble thanks. Tis thanks to thee the dragon erred not from his vows. Please, take this. A final gift of thanks. Hey! Nice. I was worried about running out of those. Now, hasten on thy journey. But wake not the slumbering princess. As the fire waneth, does she lie by the dark. All for the sake of man. Is this dusk? This is dusk, isn't oh. it? Thou art now a spear of the church. What Among other things. What a wonderful blessed day this is. With a spear such as thee, surely the princess will slumber most gently, and Medea's vows will be honored. I must thank thee, as a servant of the princess, and a dear friend to Medea. May thy travels be resplendent with glory. As the fire waneth... Okay, well, that's nice. But hey, it's Lab! Okay, I don't know if that's only there if you beat Meteor before you go through that cathedral. That's, from what I can tell, the only place I have left to go. But, that is a thing. Or was a thing. Alright, there are still a few of you guys hanging around out there. Gotta have to deal with some of you still. Oh, you're annoying. At least you die easily enough. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, worth a shot. <sighs> you know, I hadn't thought of that, but quite frankly, I only used like 1,800 souls worth of bolts. So, actually, it's not true. 1,800 souls worth of standard bolts and 1,200 souls worth of lightning bolts because they're 300 each. So, yeah, that wasn't the cheapest exercise I've ever done in getting through an area. But at least we know a strategy that's able to deal with the Herald Legion more or less reliably. Good luck trying to kill me. Oh. Nope! You're gonna get headshot. Alright, so I guess the next thing to do is to deal with that cathedral. So, for now, see you in the next one.